England trail by two goals to one. Beckham could raise the roof here with a goal. I don't believe it. David Beckham scores the goal to take England all the way to the World Cup Finals. Hey, awesome people. Welcome back to the channel where we uncover the most fascinating stories in sports, business, and pop culture. Today, we've got something special for you. We're peeling back the layers on a man who's not just a soccer legend, but a global icon. He's a style trendsetter, a business mogul, and a philanthropist. Yes, you guessed it. We're diving into the extraordinary life of David Beckham. So, if you're ready for this epic journey, smash that like button, hit subscribe, and ring that notification bell because you won't want to miss what's coming up. Early Life and Upbringing David Robert Joseph Beckham was born on May 2, 1975, in London, England. Now, you might think he was born with a silver spoon, but that's far from the truth. His father, David Edward Allen Beckham, was a kitchen fitter, and his mother, Sandra Georgina, was a hairdresser. They were diehard Manchester United fans, and their passion for the game was infectious. Beckham once said, my parents have been there for me ever since I was about seven. So you can imagine the kind of soccer crazy household he grew up in. Beckham's talent was evident from a young age. He attended Chase Lane Primary School and then Chingford Foundation School. But here's the kicker. He was also a student at the Bobby Charlton Soccer School. Yes, you heard that right. Bobby Charlton, the Manchester United legend. Beckham even won a skills competition there which led to him becoming a youth team player for Ridgeway Rovers. Talk about showing early signs of brilliance. His early years weren't just about soccer though. Beckham was a well-rounded kid. He played rugby and was good at athletics, but soccer was his first love and he knew he wanted to make it big. His family supported him all the way, taking him to games and practices. His maternal grandfather was a huge influence, often taking him to matches. It's like Beckham was destined for greatness, and his family was the wind beneath his wings. The Manchester United Era Ah, uh, Manchester United, the theater of dreams and the stage where Beckham truly became a superstar. Oh, to David Beckham, will that a go oh. And what a goal! A gem of a goal! Oh, brilliant goal! But did you know he almost didn't make it? That's right. As a young talent, Beckham faced intense competition, but his dedication set him apart. He was part of the class of 92, a group of young talents like Paul Scholes, Ryan Giggs, and Gary Neville, who would go on to redefine English football. Beckham's first goal for United was nothing short of magical. Picture this, it's the opening day of the 1996-97 season, and Beckham spots the Wimbledon goalkeeper off his line. What does he do? He scores from the halfway line. That goal didn't just announce Beckham to the Premier League, it announced him to the world. Take a bow, David Beckham. A goal, you'll see. And who can forget the 1998-99 season? Manchester United won the Premier League, the FA Cup, and the UEFA Champions League, completing an unprecedented treble. Beckham was instrumental in that success. His corners and free kicks were like guided missiles, always finding their target. The intergame was just something that, you know, things in, you know, the crosses that he had provided for me on the night made my life extremely easy. And I, you know, when you look back, lots of my goals have come from because of the quality of X. But it wasn't all smooth sailing. Beckham faced his share of controversies too, like the infamous boot-kicking incident with Sir Alex Ferguson. Yet, through all the highs and lows, Beckham's love for the game and the club never wavered. By the time he left United in 2003, Beckham had become more than a player. He was a symbol of the club's success, ambition, and never-say-die attitude. international stardom, Real Madrid, and beyond. In 2003, the soccer world was rocked 
when David Beckham traded the rainy skies of Manchester for the sunny vistas of Madrid. Joining Real Madrid is a dream come true. But this wasn't just a club transfer. It was a seismic shift in the world of sports and entertainment. Beckham joined Real Madrid's Galacticos, a dream team that already boasted legends like Zinedine Zidane, Ronaldo, and Roberto Carlos. Beckham's arrival in Madrid was met with fanfare that resembled a rock concert, more than a soccer transfer. Over 500 journalists and 5,000 fans attended his presentation. The man was not just a player, he was a phenomenon. His pinpoint crosses and free kicks became the talk of La Liga, but it wasn't all smooth sailing. Beckham faced stiff competition for his position and even found himself on the bench at times. Yet, he always fought back, proving his worth time and again. Beckham's time in Madrid wasn't just about soccer. It was about building a global brand. His jersey sales broke records, and he became a darling of the Spanish press. Even after leaving Madrid, he continued to make waves, playing for LA Galaxy and AC Milan, further solidifying his status as a global Ike stint at Real Madrid was more than just a chapter in his career. It was a defining era that showcased his versatility, resilience, and star power. He wasn't just in life. International career. Ah, the international stage, where legends are born and heroes are made. And David Beckham is no exception. When he wore the England jersey, you could feel the weight of a nation's hopes on his shoulders. But let's rewind a bit. Beckham made his England debut in 1996, but it was in 2000 that he was handed the captain's armband. Can you believe he was just 25? Now let's talk about moments that give you goosebumps. Remember the 2001 World Cup qualifier against Greece? England needed a draw to qualify, and they were trailing. Up steps Beckham in injury time for a free kick. The tension was unbearable, and then boom, he curls it into the top corner. That moment is etched in soccer history. But it wasn't all smooth sailing. Beckham faced his share of controversies too, like the infamous red card against Argentina in the 1998 World Cup. But true to his character, he done things for sure. He always played with heart. He represented England in three World Cups and two European championships, earning 115 caps. Only Peter Shilton and Wayne Rooney have more. That's elite company. Business ventures and ownership. Now, you might think that after hanging up his boots, Beckham would take it easy, maybe go on a permanent vacation. But oh no, not David Beckham. This man shifted gears and took on the business world like he took on defenders on the soccer field. Let's dive into how Beckham is scoring big in the boardroom. First up is Inter Miami, Beckham's major league soccer team. He didn't just buy a team, he was instrumental in its creation. From selecting the team colors to being actively involved in player acquisitions, Beckham is hands-on. And guess what? Inter Miami made it to the playoffs in just their second season. But wait, there's more. Beckham also co-owns Salford City, a club competing in the English Football League. He joined his class of 92 teammates in this venture, and they've got big plans. They're not just owners, they're builders, aiming to take Salford City to new heights. And let's not forget his other business ventures, from brand endorsements to his own line of fragrances, and even a stake in esports. Beckham is diversifying his portfolio like a pro. The man's got a Midas touch, Everything he touches turns to gold. So, whether it's bending it like Beckham on the field or sealing multi-million dollar deals off it, David Beckham is a force to be reckoned with. He's not just a retired soccer player, he's a thriving entrepreneur, a visionary, and a true mogul. Personal life and philanthropy. Now, let's take a step back from the soccer field and the boardroom to look at the man behind the legend. David Beckham is not just a superstar athlete or a savvy businessman. He's also a devoted family man and a philanthropist with a heart of gold. 
David and Victoria Beckham are the epitome of couple goals. Married since 1999, their love story has captivated the world. From Spice Girl to fashion mogul, Victoria has been David's rock, and together they've built a beautiful family. They have four children, Brooklyn, Romeo, Cruz, and Harper, and each has inherited a bit of their parents' magic. Whether it's Brooklyn's photography or Romeo's modeling, the Beckham kids are making their own mark. But what truly sets Beckham apart is his philanthropy. He's been a UNICEF Goodwill ambassador since 2005 and has focused on various causes from children's health care to education. His charity matches have raised millions, proving that his impact goes far beyond the soccer field. In 2015, he even launched Seven, the David Beckham UNICEF Fund, to protect millions of children from danger. The number seven, as you might have guessed, is a nod to his iconic jersey number. How cool is that? So whether he's spending quality time with his family or making a difference in the lives of those less fortunate, David Beckham shows us that true greatness is measured not just by what you achieve, but also by what you give back. Fashion and style influence. Now, let's talk about something that's as iconic as Beckham's free kicks, his sense of style. David Beckham is not just a soccer legend, he's a fashion icon. Remember the sarong he wore in 1998? Controversial yet trend-setting. And who can forget his signature mohawk that had everyone rushing to the barber? But Beckham's influence goes beyond hairstyles. He's collaborated with major fashion brands like Armani and Adidas. A white predators, inspired by a goal that I scored again. <laughs> Gold, my friend. He even launched his own line of men's grooming products, House 99. Because why not? And let's not overlook his impact on men's formal wear. The man knows how to rock a suit. Whether it's at the Met Gala or a casual day out, Beckham is always dressed to impress. His style influence even extends to his family. Have you seen his kids? They're mini fashion icons in the making, all thanks to their dad's impeccable style. In a nutshell, David Beckham has redefined men's fashion in a way that few athletes have ever done. He's not just setting trends, he's creating a legacy of style. Legacy and cultural impact. Now, let's talk about something that's bigger than soccer, bigger than fashion, and even bigger than business. We're talking about David Beckham's indelible legacy and cultural impact. This man is not just a soccer player, he's a phenomenon that has touched lives across the globe. Beckham's influence transcends sports. He's been a role model for aspiring athletes, showing that with hard work and dedication, you can reach the pinnacle of success. But it's not just about the goals and assists, it's about the way he carried himself on and off the field. And let's not forget his impact on popular culture. From his iconic hairstyles to his trend-setting fashion choices, Beckham has been a cultural icon for over two decades. He's even made appearances in movies and TV shows, further solidifying his status as a global superstar. But what truly sets Beckham apart is his philanthropy. As a UNICEF ambassador, he's used his platform to advocate for children's rights and well-being. He's not just scoring goals, he's also scoring points for humanity. So when we talk about David Beckham's legacy, we're talking about a man who has left an indelible mark, not just in soccer, but in the world at large. He's a true legend, a global icon, and a role model for millions. Wow, what a journey we've been on today, uh, exploring the life of David Beckham, a man who's truly a legend in every sense of the word. If you've been inspired, entertained, or just plain fascinated, do us a favor, smash that like button and hit subscribe. Trust me, you won't want to miss what we've got coming up next. And hey, we wanna hear from you. Who do you want us to cover next? Drop your suggestions in the comments below. We're all ears. Thanks for being a part of this incredible journey today. Until next time, keep chasing those dreams and making your own legacy.
Stay awesome, everyone!